guys, we are back with another update, this time from the great state of... New York. New York. Great state of New York that we spent so much time in. Yeah, and I think <laughs> this is one of the first updates we are recording inside the RV. Yeah, it's kind of a bit drowsy day today, so... Yeah, we Coming figured, at you from inside the house. Why don't we record inside? It's lovely inside. It is lovely. This is where we spend a lot of our time, so welcome to Inside the RV. If you haven't seen the tour, definitely go check out the tour. It's in a video up here. Um, all right, so we're in New York. Uh, we actually spent quite a bit of time here in New York, mainly because we were going from the furthest most west point mm -hmm. all the way east, um, and then we actually will go back through New York going back southbound. But we spent a lot of time here, um, and we did a quick little foreign trip, too. We did a side tour to the great Niagara Falls. We did. I had never been to. You've been though. I did. I did. I, well, I, mom and dad took us a long time ago, but I convinced Kristen it was worth the effort to cross the border um, because of the views. And mm -hmm. she was like, I'm sure it's the same on both. And if you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. You have to cross the border to get the, the view that you think of at Niagara Falls. So we'll get there in a second. So the first stop from Ohio, um, basically to New York, was right off of Lake Erie. Gorgeous. It was our first Beautiful. time seeing a lake, mm -hmm. one of the Great Lakes, on this trip, and uh, it was a real milestone. I think we were so excited just to see like one of these big first landmarks yeah, kind of thing. And a great um, indicator that we have made it pretty far north um, at this point, that we were hitting kind of yeah. our most northern states that we were going to be hitting. Yeah, so. I mean, at that point you couldn't really drive any further north because right. of the lake. So. It was a lot of fun. We stayed at a KOA. We stayed at a KOA only for two nights to kind of make sure we had all the right paperwork mm -hmm. and we were set. Crossing the border is a semi-big deal. You just need to make sure your paperwork is ready, your passports are ready. So we, we gave ourselves kind of a whole day to get settled. We did. But that KOA was a big surprise. It was because it had some hidden features of it. So once we got all of our stuff ready to go to take basically our entire house across the border, um, we headed out to Canada. <music> Niagara Falls in and of itself was oh, amazing for gorgeous. a trip. We ended up buying a special activity package, and so it kind of gave us a behind-the-scenes tour of Niagara Falls. Yeah, there were like four parts four there, Four different right? parts. Yeah. So really the first part, um, which wasn't included, but everybody is welcome to do it, is the surface walk of the falls themselves. So if you've been, you've done this. Mm -hmm. um, it's just literally walking down the big kind of overview of the entire falls area. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Um, but included into what we did was there was like a 4D film that we went and watched about the history of the Niagara Falls. How it was formed mm -hmm. and stuff, yeah. And then there was um, a behind the falls tour, which was a lot of fun, where you got to go down. Um, they tunneled behind them. I don't remember why. But for some reason, they, there's some Army Corps of Engineers or Canadian style of that dug behind them. Mm -hmm. So there are little like outlets you can see of literally right behind the right falls. Right behind the falls. And you can stand at the base of the falls too. So looking up um, as they are plummeting down towards yeah. you, gallons and hundreds of thousands of gallons every, every minute and every yeah. second. It was amazing. So then that was the second thing. The third thing was you could go down. That was the third thing. This is the fourth thing. No, that was the third thing. So the third thing included into our adventure kind of package was you could go down and walk the rapids at the end of the falls. So down the river 
Um, you could go and see the class six or the category six rapids. Yeah. And down there, there's also a big whirlpool that you can see. So there's additional activities down there, but we didn't do those. It was fun because it pulled us a little bit out of the heavy touristy area mm -hmm. to see other parts of the more natural side, which is what we're chasing. Yeah. And so it was really cool to kind of get a bigger picture of what Niagara Falls is and the landscapes of it then exactly the and then rounding all of that out was the Canadian version of made of the mist so you get back on the boat and you just you know you do the whole what you would expect going under the falls and you get misty and wet and mm -hmm. it's cold and windy and just it's that perfect. whole experience that you would expect to get yeah, so it's perfect. that whole package was definitely the highlight of the entire visit in it, Niagara Falls. It was one of those things where I think we were staying so close that every night or as soon as we had any ounce of downtime, we were right back at the falls. We were. I think we, <laughs> there, we were there four days in a row and it, just because it's like we can walk, we can't walk this any other time, right. we're going to absorb every Everything. moment of seeing this great well, and also, you know, we would walk at night and they would have it all lit up in rainbow colors. Yeah. So you get, you, you just kind of take it all in. <laughs> We're in the Horseshoe Falls, getting smoked to the brim! Oh <laughs> well, yeah! The American Falls! Yeah. Okay, so Niagara was great, doesn't last forever. So we ended up crossing back into the States. We knew, well, we didn't really know how long the actual border crossing would take, so we stayed pretty close. And we left pretty early. Left left early and then didn't have a big drive. And the next stop was a state park, um, just kind of on the north side, up still by the water. And it was, I think, one of the best state parks we've stayed in. It was gorgeous. It was real, it was, there was the, it was, I had my moment there where I was like, this is why we chose this lifestyle because yeah. we're walking down like just a random road at sunset and you just see these gorgeous colors, gorgeous colors setting over the lake and it's just not something you typically see or I've seen in Texas. It was just, yeah. it was different and the weather was cool so we were in jackets already and it was awesome. It just was amazing. <laughs> yeah and, so. and I guess this leads us into the next place so I don't know if some people call this the dip or uh, you know there's different terms but the next place we stayed it was really rough I it was so bad I don't even think we got a single picture or video of it um, and I don't want to say it was necessarily the place the RV park itself was probably the size of a small city so it wasn't the best place for us no. to stay in um, and then the whole town didn't really have any good things to support it. Like the grocery stores were like two star at best, no really good food, and we had no service at all. So it was no hard service. to work in. It was just, it wasn't up to like what we're used to. And I guess and we it, hadn't had this the entire time. So it was no, just kind of hit us out of the blue. And it did. And it was really our first time staying a week somewhere too. 
So scheduling right. to stay a whole week, and then we arrive, and we have literally no cell service, therefore no Wi-Fi, and we're supposed to stay for a week to work, that was a huge issue. Well, and, and then there wasn't even anywhere in the town we could go to get good. There was no Starbucks's. There was no good cafes. Right. There was a Dunkin' Donuts. But I just hate that place. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and so, like, it, so we just ended up leaving. I mean, that was a thousand trails. So it was our first thousand trails experience. I don't necessarily blame a thousand trails. It's, it's more of just that park itself. Um, and so we just left. We I did. Mean, I think we stayed there three nights. And it was like, as soon as I left to have an ounce of cell service, I was figuring out where are we going to go next. Mm -hmm. And then we found Lake George RV Park. Lake George RV Park. So <laughs> if you know of Lake George, you already know it's gorgeous. This on top of it was like a a resort for, for RVs. It was, it was pretty big, but you had a big spacious spot, miles and miles of paved trails. Mm -hmm outrageous amenities i mean from like splash pads to multiple pools to a, a 2.5 acre dog run park yeah. with built-in bathing stations mm -hmm. I, I mean anything you can think of in an rv park this place had it and considering we had just talked about jellystone and the prices that we paid at jellystone we paid more at jellystone with the amenities not being all included mm -hmm. and so getting to lake george where everything was included for the yeah. price we paid it was almost a steal of a deal and it was perfect. close to other things like saratoga springs which we right. went to and it happened to be the opening of race weekend and so it was, busy. it was busy but then while we were in saratoga springs we hopped over to the saratoga national park well i think it's a is it a military park a battlefield i know it's a battlefield but i don't is it a military i park? think it's a national Historical? historic park battle park this this was the know. park that made me fall in love with military parks or the historical battlefields. battlefields. <laughs> it's a must There's do. a whole driving tour that you can do that kind of takes you from place to place. Kind of the key big event. key points yep. of the battle itself, the Saratoga battle and where front lines were and British versus American. So Definitely, if you're in the area or if you're going up there to visit that park, um, everything's in the park map and it's all numbered. Super fun. And it was a lot of fun to kind of drive yeah. through and see Just experience, it. And it was experience beautiful. what happened there. The rolling hills Super and fun. trees and everything. We are at the Saratoga National Park and this is the John Nielsen House and Farm. Now around us you can see that there's posts that have the blue top on them and that actually maps out where the fort lines were for the American troops. Okay, so then one final stop before we continue eastward. Uh, it was actually still in the Lake George area, but we drove a little further north, um, kind of in preparation to get to Burlington. And into the Adirondacks, um, oh. with the Adirondack mountain ranges. I mean, th those were just gorgeous. Um, the kids loved it with the smoky 
esque mm. of it. I mean, they just it loved was, it. So it was gorgeous. It was beautiful. It was gorgeous. And so we stayed at another campsite there, another Thousand Trails campsite. Yes. Also, in the two star range. <laughs> So that the people that were running it were fairly nice, um, but it wasn't you know, mean, coming we, from like George. Our site got flooded, <laughs> and we had to, so. and like and we were like I don't know probably ankle deep in water, and we had to try and pull out from that. So there's so that I mean, was, you'll see the video of us leaving this place, and it's like we're putting brick in front of brick to drive out. On. <laughs> Keegan and I just level block after level block. Sur service you could only get if you went up the hill, and yeah. there's no Wi-Fi. But it was really pretty because we had a massive river behind us, the Spoon yes. River behind us. Yes. So you kind of felt. Um, and we did. We did one of the coolest things we've done there. Yes. And what is that? We did it for your birthday. We did, we, and it was Revolutionary Rail, Revolution Rail, Revolution Rev, Rev Rail. Rail. Mm -hmm. I'll link it below. Super cool. You basically get on a cart. It has like two to four seats. It's a quad bike. It's a, and it, yeah, and they retrofitted this to have bikes, and then these bikes are on railroads or old railroad tracks. Abandoned railroad tracks. <clears throat> old mining ones. So you bike. This is a three mile tour. So you biked three miles. Is it three miles it one was, way? It was six miles total. Oh so gosh. it's three in and three out. And the first one is uphill, and then it is mostly downhill. You don't mm -hmm. notice they go in there, but yeah. And you just, you bike. So we had three people actually pedaling, and then Kenzer kind of just sat there. <laughs> and it was really cool. It was beautiful. You got to bike over the Hudson River, yeah. through the Adirondacks. It couldn't have been mm -mm. more gorgeous. It was stunning. So that's about everything for new york that's what we did for new york so yeah. we are still heading eastbound to um acadia is kind of the goal for this this main leg um so the next stop is burlington we did some yeah. great things in burlington so and we will tell you all about it soon yeah you'll have to wait till that video all right everybody we can't wait to see you all and we'll see you in the next video bye guys